Hello, this is Chevy and in this tutorial we will be modeling the wheel that you see on the screen. We will be covering the revolve feature and the mirror feature in this tutorial. Now, if you observe, the model that you see on the screen is circular, it is cylindrical in shape and usually for such models the revolve feature um, handles this very well. Well, you can use the revolve feature to model a cup, a bottle, or even a vase. So let's take a look at how we can use this revolve feature to model the wheel. So I'm going to start by creating a part document. And we will start by sketching the profile on the front plane. So just click on the front plane, go to the sketch tab in the command manager, and click on the sketch icon. So we will start off by sketching a solid line, okay, a horizontal line somewhere at the bottom. And I'm going to dimension this by about 200 mm. So I just put 200. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so let us continue to sketch out the rest of the lines. Okay, so I'm going to sketch a little vertical line, a horizontal line, and another vertical line. Okay, so let's say somewhere about here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm just sketching random lines without worrying about the dimensions at, at the moment. Okay, we will let the dimensions take care uh, of, of the geometry at, at a later stage. So I just bring a horizontal line here, maybe a diagonal line down. Okay, a vertical line down over here. And another line right about here. Okay, and to end off, I'm going to close off this corner with a three point arc. So if you go to the arc tool, okay, these are the different arcs that you can create in SolidWorks a center point arc, tangent arc, and a three point arc. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can sketch a three point arc. So for a three point arc, all we need to do is sketch the starting point, the end point of the arc, and all we need to do is to position the arc. So let me just place the arc somewhere here. Okay. Now, you notice the arc's center point is located over here. Now, so how do we actually bring this point to this line? Well, we can use the add relation, which we have covered in the previous tutorial. So I go to add relation. Okay, select the point and the line over here. And make them coincident. Okay. And if I like this arc to be tangent to this line, okay, all we need to do is select this arc and this line and add a tangent relation. There you go. Simple as that. Okay, so with that, uh, maybe we can add another relation between the two horizontal lines on top. I want them to be always aligned to one another. So for that, we can add a collinear relation. Okay, so let's add some dimensions. Okay, I'd like this height here to be 20 mm. Okay, this length to be 100. The height of this to the top to be about 25. Okay, the distance of this line to this point over here to be about 40 mm. This is 25. Now, as you can see, SOLIDWORKS Smart Dimension tool is very powerful. And as you change the dimension, the whole sketch will update itself. So let's say this total length here is 100 mm. Um, I would like a, to add an angular dimension over here. So using the same Smart Dimension tool, click on this line and this line. And we can input uh, 120 degrees between these two lines. So let's try it on this side. Select these two lines, and there you go. Okay, I have an angular dimension. Okay, and for this little uh, overhang here, I like to dimension this 10 mm. Okay, 
let's say the overall height from here to here it is about 155 as you can see as I slowly in create my dimensions yeah the lines start to turn black in color okay and I would like this particular edge to be 20 mm okay and the radius of this arc over here to be 10 mm the distance of this point to this point okay I like this to be 20 okay and I would like this point to be always horizontal to this point over here so to do that we need to add a relation so select these two points and create a horizontal relation between them okay now if you take a look at this blue line over here you notice that the width of this groove has not been defined yet that's why this blue line can still move so we go to smart dimension click on the bottom edge here and place a 20 mm dimension here so there you go okay we have got our profile sketch for the revolve feature now this is a profile sketch and uh, we would like to revolve this profile about this line the line highlighted in orange is the axis of revolution where the whole profile will turn about so let's take a look at how we can specify these different lines so we go to the features tab click on revolve ball space okay and the very first thing that it asks you for is an axis of revolution so for the axis pick on this line over here highlight it in orange and you should see a nice preview okay, if you're happy with this just hit OK and there you go we have created the revolve feature now what we have modeled so far is just half of the model okay how do we duplicate this entire feature right across say the right plane okay we can use the mirror feature so the mirror feature is something like the sketch mirror that you have done earlier but this is used to mirror 3d entities okay such as a solid body you can mirror features so let's click on the mirror button okay and the first thing they'll ask you for is for a mirror face or plane okay so if I want to select the right plane just click on the flyout feature manager and select right plane okay and under features to mirror just click on the revolve feature you should see a nice preview being shown on the screen so just hit OK and there you go we have created our model so once again remember to save your file so I shall save this as a wheel so there you go you have completed this tutorial